Hi again, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. Before we get into some NFL action for Week 12, I want to invite you to join, so you will have access to the VIP Club section that will help you make all of your picks. Okay, so let's get started with some NFL games. If we're getting down to the home stretch, and the games are becoming more important week by week. So we're going to get started here. Let's take a look at the Atlanta Falcons at the Washington Commanders. Washington comes in last in the NFC East, but they are 6-5 and five on the season and are playing very well. As you notice, they are burning hot winners of five out of the last six. Atlanta's coming in um, average. They're coming off of a win, 1-2 and two over the last three, and they are 5-6 and six on the season and second place in the NFC South. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Atlanta has been over in three out of their last six, and Washington has been under in four out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Atlanta has dropped a bit. They were at plus 11, while Washington is at plus 15. If we take a look at the line here, you can see that Washington is a three and a half point favorite at home, with odds of 1.48 to 2.612, and the over under is set at 40.5. The score predictor has the Commanders by a 30 to 17 margin, pretty hefty uh, margin of victory, but confidence in prediction is still a little low at only 43%. If you look at the stability factor, you can see that Atlanta has been a little bit more stable than Washington, meaning they have been more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at any movement in the line. You can see this is the uh, Washington money line it opened at 1.6. One, and you can see it got to 1.45. Now it has leveled off at 1.48. So in the end, I do like Washington in this one in a game going over the line. Now there's a lot of games we're going to take a look at four of them. So there's quite a few we won't look at, but you can take a look at these, you know, at your own leisure and pick the ones that you feel that you want to pick. But I'm picking four of them for today. Cincinnati and Tennessee. This is the game of the day, I believe. Both teams coming in burning hot. You can see both have won their last two. Cincinnati is 4-2 and two over their last six, while Tennessee is 5-1 and one over their last six. Cincinnati comes in second in the AFC North, while Tennessee is leading the AFC South at the moment. Um, if you look at the over-under, they've been on completely opposite sides of the line. Cincinnati being involved in more uh, high-powered shootout-type games, 5 over to 1 under, compared to Tennessee, more defensive battles, 5 under and 1 over. Cincinnati is a slight road favorite of odds of 1.64 to 2.23, which translates into a line of 2.5 points and over under set at 43.5. You see here we have Cincinnati with a 54% chance of winning the game, which kind of lines up with the uh, odds here. A score predictor, Tennessee losing at home by 28 to 17 with a pretty high level of confidence of 82%. Let's take a look at the Power ranks indicator, as we always like to do. Both teams on the slight upward trend. You can see Tennessee moved from plus 18 to plus 24, while Cincinnati went from 19 up to 21. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator with stability factor, you can see Cincinnati more stable at plus 4 compared to plus 1 for Tennessee. So in the end, I do like the Bengals to win this one on the road. I think it's going to be close. I'd say Bengals by a field goal, barely covering, but I would pass on the over-under bet. Denver and Carolina, Houston and Miami. You have two more games you want to look at. I'm going to pick a couple of good ones here for you. And as you scroll down through the list of the entire schedule for the league, here's an interesting matchup coming up, which is a surprise probably to most people if you look at the schedule early in the season to see this kind of line. The Rams at the Chiefs. Look at this here. The line is 15 and a half point favorite. For Kansas City, 97% chance to win. The Rams, dead status, losers of their last four, one and five over the last six. Kansas City burning hot, five and one over the last six. Look at the odds, 1.06 to 8.7. I don't think I've ever seen odds like that before, 15 and a half points for an NFL game. I'm sure there has been somewhere, but I haven't seen it for a while. Uh, confidence in prediction of 74% for the Chiefs, blowing out the Rams 37 to 17. As far as the over-under goes, the teams have been involved in games over the line. They combined, uh, well, six out of the last 12, both three and three, as far as the over-under goes. 
the power ranks indicator, the Chiefs all the way up at plus 29. The Rams have plummeted from 19 down to 5 over the last three weeks. If you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, Kansas City more stable at plus 5 compared to plus 2. And so in the end, I think that this is all Kansas City. They will win. I think uh, the Rams will cover, though. I think it's a two-touchdown game for the Chiefs to win, and the Rams will cover in a game over the line. The last game is Green Bay at Philadelphia. Philadelphia has a 72% chance of winning. They're 6.5-point favorites with odds of 1.31 to 3.36. And the over-under is set at 46.5. You see the Eagles are burning hot at the moment. Uh, recovering from their one loss to eke out a win against the Colts. And the Packers are dead stats and losers of five out of their last six games. If you look at the over-under, uh, Philadelphia has been over the line in four out of their last six, while the Packers have been over the line in three out of their last six. The score predictor has the Eagles, 42-13, to 13, a blowout uh, of pretty epic proportions, according to this, a 52% level of confidence. Um, Take a look at the uh, power ranks indicator. Let's take a look at that real quick. And the power ranks indicator shows Philadelphia at plus 26, while Green Bay had plummeted to 7. And now they have increased a little bit, but they're still down very low. And I lost the power rank. Okay, there we go. And now they're up to plus 10. The stability factor, Philadelphia has been one of the most stable teams in the league here at plus 8. While the Packers have not been consistently performing with their favorite underdog status there at minus three. And if you look at the line here, it hasn't moved too much. Philadelphia is pretty much the same way as if they were to start at 1.31. In the end, I like the Eagles to win and cover, but I would pass on the over under line. So there you have it. Those are the games we wanted to take a look at for this week for the NFL. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.